Hey there, it's Richard Butler from plr.me and in today's video, I wanna show you how easy it is to edit our reports and eBooks using just Google Docs, which is for free. So it doesn't matter if you don't have Word, you can still edit our documents using Google Docs. Now here I am in Google Docs. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to new and I'm gonna say file upload. And I'm going to choose the document here, the keys to being a great leader. I click on upload and this will upload to Google Docs down here, you'll see it. And once it's uploaded, I just click on it to open it. It will take just a couple of seconds to load up because it's quite a big document with some graphics in it. So here's the document loaded up. And what I want to do now is I want to change the cover here. So where do you find images? Well, be very careful because you can't just download an image from the web that you like. You need to make sure that there's no copyright issues. So we recommend this site, Pixabay, which allows you to search for different images. So I'm going to type in meetings. And I think I'm going to choose this image here of the conference room. So I just click on it. I click on free download. I choose the size that I want and 1920 by 1280 is perfect. And I click on download and it may ask me to confirm that I'm not a robot, which I'm not just in case. Um, so I click on download and that downloads to my computer. Now, if I go back to the document, I click anywhere, uh, probably near the bottom of the document is good so I don't get any text in the way. And I go to replace image, upload from computer, and I choose the conference room JPG and up it comes. I think that looks really good. What you can do now is you can decide to change some of the text. So I might decide to just change this to how to be an exceptional leader. So I double click on this. It opens up as a Google drawing and I change this to exceptional. And I just make this a little bit wider and then I click save and close. And I'm gonna actually change this text as well. Now this is in white, so it's a little bit difficult to see. So I'm going to call this here, how to be and save and close. And now I see it. Now the spacing is a little bit off here. So uh, I'm gonna click on this text and I'm just going to, just to uh, be a little bit more precise, I'm gonna hold down the shift key and use the arrow key to move the actual text box up. Now, why do I do that? Because sometimes if you click on the text and try and move it, it may move the image and this is just a little bit quicker and easier. And I'm gonna do the same with this one. And the how to inspire others, I'm going to bring that down as well. Now, let's continue on and see what we do next. Well, I can put my name after the copyright symbol here. And if I want to change the actual footer, which I should, I can just double click down on the footer and I just click out of there. Now, going down through the document, the only other things that I might want to change is, for example, this background picture. Again, I click on it, I click replace image, I say upload from computer, and here I'm going to take an image of stones. And that looks perfect. If I want to change the text, I would do exactly what I did before, double click on it, and make changes from there. Now, the next thing that sometimes causes problems is these drop capitals. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete those uh, capitals and bring this up to the next page by hitting the backspace. And I'm just going to put in the how here. And now I could actually just increase that a little bit if I wanted. Now, sometimes when you're working with Google Docs, strange things can happen. So what I'm simply going to do here is um, I'm going to just put in these bullet points here. And I'll just delete them from here. And then I continue down here. So as you can see, Google Docs can definitely be used to edit our content. So when you're ready to publish this, you go to file and you go to download and you choose PDF. And that downloads the PDF. It should look great. Now, here's one little tip. Just make sure that you actually change the uh, name of the PDF. You can right click on the PDF and just change it. Otherwise, the name remains the same. So if you do have any questions, just let me know in the comments below. And I'll talk to you in the next video.